Yoga Jessie, and thanks for joining me for another Books Move Me Yoga Adventure. Today we'll be reading and moving to the story, Quiet, written by Paul Bright and illustrated by Guy Parker Reese. Let's get ready to read. Start by bringing your pointer and your thumb to the edge of your ears and give a little pinch and rub as you move all the way up to the top of your ear and then all the way back down, waking up our ears so they're ready for the story. Then rub your hands together and make two circles. Bring them up to your eyes and look around, making sure you're ready to see the pictures. Then bring your arms out to the side. Take a slow, deep breath in and let all the air out. Deep breath in. I think we're ready to read. Our story is called Quiet. And looking at the cover, what do you think might be happening in this story? The lion is yelling the word quiet. <laughs> And the other animals are like, oh, shocked. Why do you think he might be yelling quiet? Let's find out. Shh, quiet. Deep, deep in the jungle, chimps were chattering, frogs were croaking, birds were chirping, and a million insects were humming and buzzing. That's a lot of noise. Let's be those frogs croaking and birds chirping. Start out squatting down low with your hands in between your feet. We're gonna jump up like a frog and make our best ribbit sound. Three, two, one, ribbit! <laughs> Let's try it again. This time from five. Five, four, three, two, one, ribbit! And now let's be those chirping birds. Start with your feet together. Step one foot back and reach your wings out to the side. Lean forward and lift that foot back behind you. Flap your wings and say, chirp, 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 chirp. Chirp, chirp, and then switch feet. Put the other foot back behind you. Lift it up off the ground. Flap your wings. Chirp, 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 chirp. It was time for baby Leo to take his morning nap. He'll never get to sleep with all this noise, said Mama Lion to Leo's father. Isn't there something you can do? Do, said Papa Lion. Do? I am king of all the animals. Of course there's something I can do. He stood up tall, puffed out his chest, and roared. Quiet! Let's be that roaring lion. Come on your feet with your knees out in front. And show me your big lion claws. Bring those claws down to your knees. We'll take a deep breath in and puff out our chest and then roar our loudest roar. Here we go. Breathe in. Roar! And the lion didn't just roar, he yelled quiet. This time instead of roaring, let's yell quiet. Here we go. Deep breath in. Quiet! And so baby Leo fell asleep. Then Papa Lion whispered softly, but clearly so that all the creatures could hear him. If any of you makes a noise and wakes up Leo, I will gobble you up. And all was quiet in the jungle. Quiet as the morning mist, quiet as the opening flowers, 
and quiet as a baby sleeping. Let's pretend to rock that little baby Leo to sleep. Starting sitting like a pretzel, take one foot and put it into your elbow, right where your arm bends. And then wrap the other hand right around the outside and rock it back and forth like you're rocking a baby. All was quiet in the jungle until suddenly cawing and crowing, squeaking and squawking, beaks pecking and claws scratching, two parrots were arguing in the bushes. Let's be those squawking parrots. Stand all the way up with your feet together and spread your wings out wide, stepping one foot back behind you. Lift that foot up, balancing on just one foot, and let me hear you squawk. Squawk, squawk, squawk. And then switch feet, other one reaching back. Lift it up, balancing on just one. Squawk, squawk, squawk. Quiet, said Papa Lion as loud as he dared, in case baby Leo was still sleeping. It's all right, said Mama Lion. Leo's fast asleep. Oh well, said Papa Lion. I could have used a snack. Do you think he's getting hungry? <laughs> and once again, all was quiet in the jungle. Quiet as the trees growing toward the sky. Quiet as the leaves reaching toward the light. And quiet as a baby sleeping. This time, take your other foot and put it in the bend of your arm. Reach the other arm around and rock that baby. All was quiet as a baby sleeping. Until suddenly, chuckling and chortling, sniggering and snickering, the hyena was laughing, laughing like hyenas do. But nobody knew what was so funny. Let's laugh like a hyena. Come down onto your back and put your feet up high like you're going to ride an imaginary bike. Bring your hands up too and start to pedal with both your hands and your feet. Then let me hear your funniest hyena laugh. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, said Papa Lion as loud as he dared, in case his son was still sleeping. It's all right, said Mama Lion. He's still asleep. Oh well, said Papa Lion, but I am getting hungry. Then all was quiet in the jungle. Quiet as the calm after a storm. Quiet as the sunshine after the rain. And quiet as a baby sleeping. Rock your foot again. Quiet as a baby sleeping. Until suddenly, howling and hooting, screeching and chattering, swinging and swooping, a family of monkeys was leaping through the trees. Let's howl and hoot like those monkeys. Come all the way up to standing and step your feet wide. Bring your arms out to the side and start to swing them back and forth as you bend your knees just a little and say, hoo hoo ha ha, hoo hoo ha ha, hoo hoo ha ha. Then reach up and grab onto a vine and we're going to swing on that vine drawing a giant circle in the sky. So bring it down to the side, down to your toes and all the way back up. Let's draw that circle again. And this time let's say, one more, arms out to the side. Quiet, said Papa Lion as loud as he dared, just in case Leo was still sleeping. It's all right, said Mama Lion. 
Leo's asleep. Oh well, said Papa Lion, but now I'm very hungry. It was the middle of the day and the jungle was hot and humid. The animals crept into the shade of the trees, drowsy and dozing. And all was quiet in the jungle, quiet as the blazing sun, quiet as the shadows underneath the trees, quiet as a baby sleeping. Rock that baby, side to side, quiet as a baby sleeping. Until suddenly, Splashing and squelching, ooing and awing, a hippopotamus was yawning in the cool, muddy shallows of the river. Hippos splash in the muddy rivers. Come down on your back and put your feet up high. Grab onto the insides of your feet and rock side to side. And in the muddy water, say splish, splash, splish. Splash, splish, splash. Quiet, said Papa Lion as loud as he dared, in case the baby lion was still sleeping. It's all right, said Mama Lion. Leo's fast asleep. Hmm, <clears throat> said Papa Lion. I guess my eyes are bigger than my belly. He's feeling hungry. The Papa Lion rubbed his tummy and began to think, I do wish someone would make just a little more noise and wake up baby Leo just for a minute. Yet all remained quiet in the jungle, quiet as a fish swimming in the river, quiet as a bird soaring in the sky, and quiet as a baby sleeping. Let's rock that baby one last time. Side to side, quiet as a baby sleeping, until suddenly a rumbling, a growling, a groaning, a moaning, a gurgling, a burbling, a noise like nothing ever heard before. It was loud as thunder, loud as a banging drum, and loud as a baby crying. Who has woken up baby Leo, cried Mama Lion. Find who it was, Papa, now. But look at Papa Lion's face. It's me, said Papa Lion meekly. My stomach is rumbling and growling because I'm so hungry. <gasps> Look at all the animals laughing. Oh my. In the end, it wasn't one of the jungle animals that woke up baby Leo. It was Papa Lion's rumbling, hungry tummy. Thanks for joining me on this Books Move Me yoga adventure. See you next time.